But an example, some people say that same criticism about Kevin Hart. When Kevin Hart first yeah, came I was up, thinking that. Kevin Hart, no, he wasn't. I was. Kevin Hart first came up, and he was like, he was so, he hasn't changed like energetic wise and all that. But he was so everyone connected to him, black people especially connected to him. But now it seems to be a thing. Maybe it could be jealousy. But now a lot of black people seem to say, I don't like him now. I don't find him as funny. I feel like he's changed. And people do sometimes credit that to the fact that he's mainstream now. I will say two things. I'll say if you're a good comedians that talk about what's going on in your life. Yeah. You know what I mean? In the way that people keep saying Eddie Murphy will come back. I don't think he, he can come back. He's been a, a movie star for nearly 40 years. You know? Yeah. Kevin Hart came through talking about his life, but his life changed. Yeah, he's, yeah. he's been a multi-millionaire for half, you know? So yeah. he can't say, boy, well, when well, you go down to Asda and, or Walmart, <laughs> yeah, you know what I mean? Because yeah. he's not going down to Asda, yeah. you know what I mean? I guess that's I mean, I'm not defending him, I'm just yeah, saying yeah. Yeah, he, yeah, yeah. he has to talk about what's that's, going that's on. That's probably the disconnect between black yes. people as well, because if black people are used to a certain, life, a certain kind of, yeah. maybe from. lower lower class life, and Kevin Hart's coming talking about that kind of stuff, then of course we're going to be like, oh my gosh, that's Doesn't too real. But isn't now it, he's talking differently. Isn't it a bit crazy though that we associate black comedians with struggle, like yeah, until subconsciously, they become mainstream? Subconsciously, so that's probably that's why, why that's probably where element of jealousy comes in when a black comedian busses through, because like now they're talking about an upper class kind of life that we can't relate to. So subconsciously we're like, I don't like that. And to be yeah. fair to well to him, not that he needs defending. He, he's yeah. like the old old phrase, laughing all the way to the bank. I yeah, think it was exactly. Liberace. Yeah. Liberace, I think, first said that I cried all the way to the bank, yeah. as, as in bitches. Or I'm telling yeah, you, know I mean? in my uh, Ferrari. It, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's really tough. Ooh, I'm messing up the seats. Or, you know, whatever. There, there's gonna, there's gonna be jealousy sometimes. People can't even contain their jealousy. It makes me laugh because yeah. I'm thinking, well, you realise how you're making yourself look so... Definitely. You know, don't, don't even try to come for me, people. They're on song. Because kind of, there's yeah. a difference between being big online. Because, again, people miss the point. The likes of Mo and yeah. Julian other people were good comedians before. <laughs> it's better to... So they're, they're just putting their talent in the spotlight. And they were grinding like nobody's yeah. business. Again, going back to the yeah. work rate, yeah. yeah? And the work ethic, I should have said. Yeah. Whereas... I see examples of people who make their name online and then try and become a life comedian and, you know, is that it? It's a hard transition. Yeah, it's, I, can imagine it's, it's I can imagine it's tough. I can imagine it's tough. It's almost like saying, I'm going to be a boxer by reading books about boxing, or you throw this punch on anything, yeah. and then you go in the ring and get licked down. No, yeah, sir. Yeah. Better you actually learn to box and then write the book about boxing <laughs> yourself.